Hey babe, just got here in Vegas. What's more fun than 50 bartenders in Vegas? There's just this awesome view of the Las Vegas Strip. I'm literally competing against the best bartenders in this country. Once I got behind the bar, I was like, shit. Once it was under the tent, it's all nerves. Then the judges came over and they sat right in front of me and this is actually about to happen. Seven minutes starts now, good luck. When I pulled everything out of my bag, I pulled my first glass out and I was polishing it and I'm like looking for any dust or marks on it and I see just a big crack down the middle. Oh, <laughs> that's not good. I started asking around. No one had double rocks glasses. You should check with the bar, see what they have. Yeah. In terms of rocks glasses, uh, the only thing is like, these glasses are really <laughs> I really have no solution at this point. So right after they called our names, we all piled into the elevator with our trays. And that's about the time when the nerves started to really hit me. The stomach got really nervous. I got really nervous and that's when I knew. I was like, all right, this is it, it's time. The day I found out I was going to Vegas, I sent out a text message to my mom, my dad, and my brother, just saying, hey, I won this awesome thing. I'm going to Vegas to compete. And then a little while later, I heard back from my mom and she just said, I will always love you, but I can't be proud of you for this. And it felt like someone punched me in the stomach. I just kept reading it over and over again, like, wow, wow. She sees bartending in the same light as like being a stripper and that I'm contributing to the downfall of society. I create memories and experiences for people and people leave there and post my name all over Yelp, like Carly made me an awesome drink last night at Whistler's. Like it's. Like, what I do is awesome. If I win, I want to be able for her to be the first person that I call. And, like, here, like, celebrating in the background, you know? But it won't be. Like, that's not going to be what happens. I hope that if I win and that she'll come around and, and that she will be really proud of me. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. I've been ready to do this competition for weeks now. I've been practicing my drink, and it was right there. I mean, I was seconds away. It was just right there in front of me. I was ready to go. All right, starting with a little lemon juice here. An ounce and a half of Bombay. Time for a little shake. My friends were super pumped. You know, they're like, you got this. That's the face of GQ. Like they're, I think they're all a little more confident than I am. And then I'm gonna top it with about an ounce of un unfiltered sake that's been infused with a little cassia. The final step to my drink was my ice cube. Picked up the ice cube and everybody's face in the crowd changed. Both judges were like, whoa. I wasn't expecting that, were you? Out of nowhere. And this is my Cintra Sipper. Thank you very much, well done. Thank you. First step, always they smell the drink. They want to get the aroma off the drink. When you smell my drink, you get that sake, cinnamon flavor. Just the perfect balance for a gin cocktail. It's good, really good. Well done, Carly. Awesome. And just like that, I'm done. I feel good. I mean, that was the best drink I could have put out to the judges today, and it was awesome. It tasted good. I tasted it after, and I was like, yep, yeah, I'd drink that. I think it's a simple drink, but presentation-wise and the whole package, it's enough to get me to the top 10. So before the competition started, I, I saw that there was glasses holding candles on the tables. I ended up polishing those and using the uh, candle holders for my glassware. If it wasn't for those, I don't really know what I would have done. How's it going, Chad? Going very well. I'm excited. You having a good time in Vegas? This is my first time in Vegas, so yeah. it's like you really gotta hold back. So yeah. like my like four of my friends came out, so they've just been getting like super wasted every day and like going wild. So I'm just like, I'm so glad you guys are having fun, but uh, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm much more comfortable when I'm talking, so it kind of helped me relax a little bit. Seven minutes starts now. Good luck. All right. So uh, the cartel that I'm going to have for you guys today, it's uh, named after the neighborhood I live in in D.C., uh, Bloomingdale. What you have is the base that's very tart and citrusy. So as you'll taste, the cocktail itself is, it's aggressive. It's a very aggressive cocktail. 
I interacted with the judges quite a bit and we kind of hit it off, I feel like. We connected on some stuff. They kind of took a very professional manner, so I don't think they reacted in an enormously positive way. So then this is the uh, Galangal infusion. Very quick. Have you ever used Galangal before? Yeah. Obviously doing this competition, everyone's like, so what ingredients are you using? And tell them Galangal. They're like, what in the hell is Galangal? A little absinthe to finish it off. Fresh breath? Anyone? No? Okay. Scoring down for that. All right, gentlemen, the Bloomingdale. Uh, the glass worked very well. If you didn't know that it was a candle holder, you probably would just assume it was a glass. So I doubt the judges realized anything was amiss. It might just be the most imaginative bartender to use a candle holder for a glass. Hold on. Thank you very much. Did you enjoy it? Very good. Good job, Chad. Thank very you good. so much. Thank you very much. Could have gone a little better. I was like, you know, a little shaky. But now we go have a drink and wait until the top ten are announced. I just feel like a winner already. Congratulations, by the way, buddy. Thanks, man. You look f***ing pimp. Good luck. What was going through my head was be a pimp. Like, just, just rock it. Once I got behind the bar, I was like shaky. I was like having my own panic attack at that moment. Once it was under the tent, it's all nerves, like, you know, adrenaline is kicking in, and you do what you do or you step off. When I was right behind the bar, I was totally nervous. <laughs> my stomach kind of leaped up into my throat for a second. The crowd kind of went live and nuts, and the judges went wide-eyed. Absolutely no fit. Do your drink. Do it right. Go, 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 go. Like, push it out. Get it over with. It's, like, intimidating. Now the anticipation of waiting for the results is starting to build. This is it. This is why I came here. You want your name to be announced. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs>